So Kunal sir, what are the important topics for IAC chemistry board exams? Now, your the IAC chemistry board examination is actually divided into two parts, part one and part two. Part one is basically testing your general understanding of o the whole theoretical chemistry syllabus that you've actually taken up. It will be covering almost all the chapters. So uh, one cannot exactly specify a specific topic, but yes, one one of the important thing that students miss out in part one, uh, question number one, that is basically a fill in the blanks question. Students generally uh, start to fill in their own blanks and fill in their own words. You should avoid that. There is there's a set of options given to you. Stick to that. That is the only options to be filled in. Now. Let's move to part two. Now, part two has basically three sections, section A, B, and C. Section A is completely dedicated to physical. Section B is dedicated to inorganic chemistry. And section C is dedicated to organic chemistry. Now, in section A, you have a total of 20 question, 20 marks to attempt. And those 20 marks uh, is divided into physical chemistry topics. But a few topics that are actually a redundant, a recur on a regular basis, that is Raoult's law and von Trapp factor. Lee Shatler principle questions and its explanation, ionic product, electrochemistry. Now in electrochemistry, you'll get the Nern cell equation and its numericals. And most importantly, you'll always get a spontaneity prediction question on the basis of the uh, E naught cell and the EMF values that you get. Another one, in solid state, you'll at least get one question on defects. Solid state covers the other topics as well, but diff on, the, on the defects part, you'll cover certain uh, defects would actually be important. Now, in inorganic, generally, you'll, uh, one of the questions is you, you're supposed to attempt a total of 10 marks, out of which the 5 marks is completely dedicated to coordination. You'll get a question on coordination chemistry, 5 marks dedicated to it, and nomenclature and isomerism, that is, uh, that is what it exactly covers. Apart from that, there will be a, a certain other question as well. Now, if you look at organic, in general, organic is very diverse from ISC point of view, but it still focuses on name reactions. A few of them to mention is basically Clemenson reduction, Colby electrolysis, Rosenbund reduction, and a pattern in that these are all preparation-based reactions. So you can actually think, uh, look, out, look out for those reactions coming in for your board examinations. Thank you.